so what is in my phone in 2023 i'm going to talk about some of the things in this video which are the apps i'm using my device is rooted or not which device i'm using and a lot more in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end first of all let me tell you the device uh, maybe a lot of you are not aware of i have purchased one plus i'm using one plus nord 2t it's a 5g device of course and i purchased it around maybe 25k the thing is it is having 128 gb storage and 8 gigabytes of ram which software i'm using um of course this is oxygen os without any hesitations uh, you can say this oxygen os or color os or realme ui almost same of course you already know that it's not actually pure oxygen os so yes some of the disadvantages are here of course i'm not going to talk about all those things but the things i will share with you is which are the apps i'm using in this one but the first thing is let me tell you my device is rooted actually this device is not having any development so i am not able to install any custom room i will not for sure but my device is rooted if you are able to notice congratulations root access is properly installed i am using this device as my daily driver so yes a lot of apps have been installed a lot of apps i have deleted and i'm using some of the apps are here some open source apps and a lot more things here comes the widget this is the first thing i'm using a custom widget this is a moto widget i made a specific video on this one to all Already. so link is available in the description which you can go and find out if you want to this is the first thing which is the first modified things which i have enabled the second is messaging app i'm not using the google messaging app i'm using moto messaging app here yes maybe i'm a fan of moto i'm not actually but yes the things i like i always use those things this messaging app is good supports material you theming and a lot more things another thing which i'm using in this one is private dns for ad blocking maybe my device is rooted you know but the thing is i still use this dns.adgar.com which is one of my favorite things i'm using black hole as my daily driver or maybe a default music player you can say not exactly black hole every time but the second one is inner tune both of these apps i use on my device for music etc although i have youtube music premium but i love the look and ui of these apps that's why i'm using here another thing is i'm using launcher on my device sometimes i use sometimes i don't but i am using launcher on my device launcher is one of the best and most customizable launchers out there with the gesture support of course i'm using this thing on my device as my device is rooted so i'm using quick switch magic module too for file manager without any doubt i'm using make explorer which is having every feature which i need on my device to edit any code files or to do anything cut copy paste extract or compress anything i can do with make explorer i also have magisk installed of course my device is rooted and i have installed magisk latest version and if i move on to the module section you can see i have quick switch i have safe net fix module ls pose and bcr which is called basic call recorder and this is one of the most useful things if you're using this device for example i'm using this on my oneplus device it is having google dollar by default and you know the calling announcement and with this i have no issues with that i'm using this thing and quite satisfied i'm also using this app called folder cleaner as i'm not going to install any custom room here so default custom room is having a lot of empty folders so to clean them it's a very easy process with that app also uh, my device is rooted i need google photos unlimited backup then we have pixel 5g photos where you can simply spoof your device so that you will get a lot of good things like google photos unlimited backup which is one of my favorite and last but not the least some of the mods which includes ls pose mods ls pose i have installed and the modules i'm using here is core patch to simply install an older version of the pre-installed app killergram to remove the sponsor message from telegram pixelify i've already shared with you the next one is to simply remove the twitter ads of course if you use update locker is a very useful thing if i don't want to update any app from the google play store i can simply use this thing i have whitelisted an android app and for from that from now on i'm not getting any update for that app so that's actually useful according to me last but not the least of course I've already shared with you the mods and else the camera which i'm using is dcam go edition sometimes or sometimes i don't because default camera is just not bad so this was about today's short and simple video very quick in improvement of about these things which are of things available thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one goodbye